Welcome to Greg Talking Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where we review movies and TV shows from all your favorite superheroes, including Marvel Comics, DC Comics, and much more. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Great Talking Entertainment official channel. Let's go, baby! As we continue on for the new HBO Max series, Velma, this is the uh, episode 7 and 8 review, and of course this is a spoiler, so you have not seen the show yet, pause this, hit the thumbs up button, this will totally help my channel to grow, watch it, come back, let me know what you guys think about the Velma series, whether it's good or bad, I want to hear it, and all that good stuff. So, once again, this is a spoiler review so you've been one episode seven and eight continue on looking for velma's mom episode seven starts off where there is a local carnival slash like a prom vent but it has to do with the fog they call it fog fest and this is where you have a date you have to have a date so you can't go and then you obviously learn that some people can get in for other reasons and they make fun of like the movie the fog both 1980 and 2005 version of that movie and Velma's trying to tell everyone why it's a bad idea to go because during the fog you know the murderer can get you or kidnap you or whatever but obviously nobody listens to her and this is a comedy joke of just the men and women equally type thing or stereotype thing where it's going on now the fog the fog does strange things for example like people's clothes were switched and we see in a flashback where Velma and Daphne did enjoy this uh, fog fest and Velma did enjoy it because of things like that but now she's horrified to it which again they're making fun of the horror film The Fog and this is where we see Fred finally we see Fred get kidnapped but before he gets kidnapped he has to work really hard to become fog king and if he can't because if he doesn't he can't live with his parents and he ha- he can't date Velma he has to be the queen his queen has to be a more attractive woman so it has that ongoing joke again and then we see that Velma dresses up like a man obviously now people start thinking that her as a man is cool they don't know that it's Velma but every time he or Velma dresses up as a man and says the exact same thing why they should not be out in the fog fest because there's a killer out they actually listen to her but everybody figures out it's Velma after Fred exposes her so he can just become fog king and then at the end of that episode we see Fred get kidnapped and when we get to episode 8 we finally see Velma's mom and Shaggy and Gigi got back together and then this is where we learn that Gigi's parents has a cabinet at the same location where the quote unquote the killer's hideout is at and we see that Velma, Shaggy, Daphne and Gigi are like stuck or pinned by a rock and Fred is kidnapped where he wakes up where the killer is located at where the brains are like talking brains but not like mouth moving brains but the way that from the last two episodes they figure out that Velma's mom and Shaggy's um, grandma wanted to figure out how to transfer brains and the conscious to other bodies and stuff so there's still that and what what they showed is that you know there's Velma they still show in the relationship between Velma and Shaggy where Shaggy still has feelings for her and Velma is still jealous gets jealous when Gigi tries to take him away but she doesn't realize it because she has feelings for Velma and it just seems like Velma has a lot of feelings for a lot of people between those two and we, when we see that uh, all the, the whole gang saves Fred from uh, the 
killer, we discover Velma's mom, and she has an all white van that is looks just looks like the the Scooby Doo van. And obviously, they got stuck; they didn't make it, but they survived some way, somehow, just because of they made a racial jokes about how they came to save Fred, but not Velma and Shaggy, and, and, and yeah, but. <laughs> It, it was all fun and jokes, and again, this is such a funny show. I enjoy it. So, uh, let's just t- get into some topics. So, uh, Velma's Daphne relationship. So, from seven to eight, we see that Velma is very controlling, and her and Daphne do have a thing for each other. And I guess since kindergarten, and they always had the googly eyes for each other, which is fine. Which is funny. And but they all seem to have different reasons why not to date each other. For Daphne, it's just she's popular, and I guess in not guess, but in episode seven we learn that, or episode eight, I'm sorry, that Velma or not Velma, but Daphne was uh, stalking Olivia and wanted to see if she liked her. So she learned how to hack phones, which we see in this episodes that. They hack the killer's phone, which the code number is one two three four, and they made a joke of like, "Geez, this is my grandma." Like, it was a simple code. Um, and then uh, with episode eight, they had a lot of flashbacks, but I did enjoy like the joke. They took shots at uh, director Quentin Tarantino's with like Daphne's version, Fred's version at the same day, same time. Like it was all fun and jokes, and I just thought that was just really funny. And they even argued, made a parody joke argument about how that's just laziness or it is creative and genius. But it was all fun. Like again, this show's making fun of just your typical Scooby Doo themes and other horror films and who's the killer type themes. It's all funny stuff and I really, I'm still enjoying this, and it was a very interesting episode, like, a lot of back and forth, but, hey, at least we finally got Velma's mom. I do want to point out, I think that Velma's mom is is the killer, could still be the killer, because she, apparently she just forgot, she, like, she can't remember, and, again, that's just making, taking fun of, like, uh, actual killers who, you know, get drunk or pass out and they wake up and then they end up they wake up and there's a dead body somewhere right and they're kind of making fun of that like the netflix show you or some documentary or whatever but they're making fun of that with velma's mom so i think velma's mom could still be a suspect as the killer so that's what i think but overall seven and eight i'm gonna give them an eight and out of ten one out of ten i'm giving both episodes together and eight. It's great stuff, good punchline, good jokes. Uh, really enjoying this, and I can't wait to see more. But overall, I really like how it's been going. I know there's a lot of negativities to this show, but they do have a lot of funny moments in these shows, so I, I wouldn't give up on this, people. But that's my review. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talking Entertainment Official Channel. Please subscribe. Hit that notification button. So always be updated with all my latest content. Thank you and peace.